Hi, it's Chris from LearnGrasshopper.com. In this exercise, we are going to make parametri parametric ladder. It's a really basic exercise that I'm always introducing to my stu students. We are going to use basic components to create this parametric ladder. As an input here, we are going to have just the curves of the wall. In the screen right now, you can see a picture that shows this ladder. So it's a simple, you can see that this is a simple curves uh, with the simple steps. And the aim is to go over this wall. So as a parameters, we have to include something like inclination between the wall and the ladder. We, of course, need to have a width of this ladder and the number and so, or number of steps, or maybe this will be better to have a spacing between steps. So this is our exercise. And now I'm going to show you step by step how to make this parametric ladder. So let's go to Grasshopper. I have my Grasshopper file open. You can find the link to this Grasshopper file below. So here you can see this is the wall and we are, not, we are going to create a parametric ladder that will go through this wall. So this is our data input. So we have a curve, top curve. Here you can see that is highlighted at the top. And here there is a, a bottom one. So let's create something which is really simple. Uh, let's find the points on that curve. So the first component that we are going to use is a curve middle. So we are going to find a middle point of these curves. So we are creating this one, curve middle. It can be found in curve and analysis curve middle. So with Control C, Control V, we can just copy uh, that and connect to another curve. So in this way, we have created two points. When we hover over this midpoint, so you will see that there is a coordinates X, Y, and Z of this uh, of this point. So let's maybe connect them so you will create a line. So here, if we have a line component, there is a create line between two points. So you will see that we are going to create line. So everything is okay, but this is not parametric. We just connected two lines. So in order to create a ladder, so we need to move this point. So here, that's point which is from below. So actually we need to move in this direction. When we see in the re left uh, left down corner, you will can see X, Y, and Z coordinate system. So here you can see that we need to move this point in the Y direction. So always in Rhino, there is a green axis. It's usually go using for the Y direction. So let's uh, delete that step and let's move this curve, this point in the Y direction. For do that, we are going to use move component. And actually move component, it's not just moving uh, our point, but it's creating a copy uh, of that element. So here we are going to connect geometry to our, uh, as our point and as a motion here, we need to create a vector. And in this case, we can be really simple, simple one. So let's say that we are going to create y vector. So there is a, something like unit y. This can be found, found in vector and vector. So here there is a predefined by Grasshopper developers units. So if you hover over that one, so you can see that there is a zero in the x direction, one in the y direction, and zero in the z direction. And we are going to connect that to motion. But the thing is that we are not, we don't want to just move it by one unit. And as a factor, we can give more values. So let's say that, for example, 150. Let's say it's 150. Let's connect to this factor. We can just hover over here and it's correct, 0, 150, 0. So let's say that we have created our new point. But OK, we cannot see it. So the trick here is that if we just hover over this component so you can see this geometry, this point, and if you middle mouse button, click middle mouse button, so here you can just click on the zoom. So you will see that we are zooming into our point. And if we are going to rotate, so you will see that we are 
on the another side of the wall. So this is not actually what we wanted, but actually it's true because this is the y direction is going in this direction. So we need to change our direction of the vector. So the best way is to use reverse uh, reverse component. So there is a reverse in the vector, but you can also change it to minus 150, and of course it will create the same vector. So now we have connected that, so let's say that this everything is fine. So now we have one point here and another one point here, so let's connect them together. So we have a line component, and here we can just have a line. So this is the first step. This is a parametric, it's already parametric because now we can uh, change the uh, change the inclination, but not about the angle. Here we just just the length of the from the wall. Of course, if you use trigonometry, so uh, 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 we instead of using this value of a uh, uh, length from the wall, of course, we can go use also alpha. But in this case, let's just make something simple. Okay, so we have a one here, one line. So maybe we can just copy, uh, just copy of that one and move it in the x direction. So we are going to do the same as with point. So actually, let's copy all this script with the move. So we have move. Let's copy with the all the units that we have here. Let's connect. Let's control C, control V. And now let's com connect this line to the component. And yes, we got the line, but actually we move it in the y direction. That's why we need to change that unit vector. So let's change that unit vector to unit x. If you remember vector and vector, you will find all the units. So here, let's connect that. Let's, yeah, let's maybe reverse so you will can see. So now we have an extra parameter that actually it will be the width of the, uh, of the letter. So let's change that. Let's change this parameter. This is the width. And let's change that this will be a, a right click and change to distant, distance from wall. So let's say this is our first parameter and here it will be the second, just a width. All right, so now we have uh, two lines. Great. The next step is to create the actually steps. So we have to actually create points on that curve and create points also on that curve and, of course, connect them. So use component that actually we are going to divide our curve. So divide curve. In this case, you have divide curve. So it will be, if you see, zoom into the input. So you have curve, you have count. But actually, let's say that we are looking for divide length. Here we can specify what will be the length of be between every single point. So the count, maybe not this case, let's use the length. So first of all, so we need to use this, uh, this geometry, mm, this uh, line, and let's divide it. You can see if you hover over, so you can also see the line and the length, it's 147. So let's say that uh, in the panel with the double slash, we can create a panel and here write a value, let's say maybe 20, let's say 20. It will be 20, let's make it smaller. So we can say it like it's a, a step, a step length. All right, so now we can connect that, uh, connect this uh, to the length. Now we have divided, uh, divided this um, into, into the parts. So it's looking quite good. Maybe we'll delete the first one and maybe we can have the last one. That doesn't matter. It keep it simple. So we have a points here. We have eight points. So let's apply this the same to the another line. So we have this point. So of course we need to have the same points on the another side. So let's copy the script control C control V and let's connect a line that are our origin line. So let's connect that. So we have actually the points on the another another side. All right. So let's say 
that we have the same value so let's connect that this we can just delete and connect the step to this length so we have just one parameter that actually change both of them so for example if we end to 25 so you will see all that great so now let's we have two lines let's maybe we can just uh, just hide these elements if we just select all of them middle mouse button and here we have disable preview so their elements will be not visible so now in the same way we can create line between these steps and as i said before maybe we can omit just the first one so we need to actually delete from this uh, list of sex uh, points actually delete the first one so here we need to use a component called cool index. So here we have a cool index and as the indices, indices in Grasshopper we are using as the first one it will be zero. So as a panel let's say we are going to use zero. Let's connect that. We have a point and we are going to delete in Grasshopper we say it cool. So the first index. So here you can see if you click on that. So now we have five elements. And now you can see that there is a five elements and we are not having this one, the last one. The same we have to do in the another curve. So let's connect that here. We have another five points and now we can create a line. And here is a really important thing how Grasshopper manages lists. So we have here five points and here we have a five, five, five points. So in this case, Grasshopper will connect, connect first point with the first point on the second list and the same it will be go further and further so if we just connect as a first start point and ending point so you will see that we have created this parametric ladder of course we could have more parameters like inclination or maybe the length of the to the first step that it will be not just a random uh, number as it it is right now so here you can see that it's changing but for now let's keep it simple and start with this easy example that shows easy script that shows how we can with the simple step create this parametric ladder so that was all for this video you can find the exercise and with the solution under this video so you'll use this uh, case as a, your start to parametric design that was all for now good luck and have a good one